Next news is out of London, England. London bus attack arrests after gay couple who refused to kiss were beaten. Two women say they were subjected to a homophobic attack and left covered in blood after refusing to kiss on a bus. Melina said the attack occurred on her and her partner Chris at the top deck of a London night bus as they were traveling to Camden Town. A group of young men aged between 15 and 18 began harassing them when they discovered the women were a couple, asking them to kiss while making sexual gestures. The four male teenagers have been arrested. They were questioned on suspicion of robbery and aggravated grievous, uh, grievous bodily harm. So to, to let you guys know what happened, there was this gay couple, lesbian couple, out on a date, um, and when these these teenagers discovered these women were together, they forced them, came up to them making comments, telling them that they needed to kiss for the men's entertainment. Um, and when they refused, they beat these women bloody. I mean, punched them out. Uh, the images were just horrible. And um, the, the teens that did this were actually arrested. So it's not like this didn't happen. It's not like a Jesse Smollett. Uh, anyone's questioning if this happened, this happened. And this is what people are facing. And I think that it was very important that we brought this up this month, especially because it is Pride Month. And I am so sick and tired of hearing from everyone in the community that nobody cares if you're gay. Nobody cares. You know, this is a new era. This is a new day and time. Nobody cares what happens. Yeah, you know, nothing bad is happening to you. Matter of fact, you have things better than straight people. And this is what people face. Wait, who this is that? what people say that we see that in our atheist community all the time oh. we see that right now with a straight pride parade armin hmm. they want to make us look stupid for for coming out because there's nothing to come out about right They're, we're not being attacked we're not being treated differently we're protected by law they want to say all these things um when this is what is happening and am i saying this is happening everywhere and all the time no but this did just happen in london england and you know if it can happen there it can happen in new york this stuff does happen in New York. This stuff happens to people everywhere you go. Most of the time, you're not going to hear about it, though. This is stuff that I'm terrified about. I'm terrified about this. Um, and a lot of other people are, too. And, and you know, it's important that we bring these these topics out. It's important that we talk about these things when they happen. Because if we, if we hide our heads in the sand in the atheist community and say, you know, oh, trans transgender people they don't need anymore we we've given them everything they're accepted everything's fine lesbians no one cares they're accepted everything's fine this is 2019 nobody's doing this stuff anymore well it's happening it's happening it's happened here um and it's happening with with women who are too scared to even report it yeah i mean a lot of people actually you're right a lot of people say like what are you fighting for anymore you already have equal rights they say that to women they say that to gay people they like they say that to uh, transgender the transgender community and just to give you um i have a friend here who's a, in vancouver who's transgender and he is and vancouver is one of the most secular and one of the most liberal cities on the planet right and he mentioned to me that he, in Vancouver, he so far has been beaten up four times for being transgender, right? Yes, we have laws, you know, it's against the law. And yes, technically under their law, he enjoys equal rights. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't experience, the, you know, this from other people. And again, if I can't imagine if in, in, in one of them, in, if in Vancouver you get attacked, this much for being transgender physically can't imagine what it's like in southern united states and yes we know people women have it worse in islamic countries yes we know that gay people and transgender people yes they have it worse in islamic countries yes we know that but that doesn't you don't your problem has doesn't have to be the wor biggest problem in the world for it to be worth fighting against right if somebody comes punch me in the face for example because i'm ex-muslim and muslim punched me in the face am i going to shut up about it am i going to not even report it to the police because well if i was in iran i would be hanged by now so i should just take this like nonsense absolutely nonsense you you fight nonsense. you know you fight this kind of 
hate wherever you see it. It's small, big, medium, whatever. You don't. It's not a competition of who has it worse. Um, but let me see what the top comments are. Barry is saying, 14s, we will never call them men. Beat on two women. Wow, they must be so proud. Big, strong guys, they are not. Honestly, it doesn't matter if they were... Um, if if four teens were beating up two men or four men, still would be, you know, it. It this is not about oh they're cowards or oh they're not real men. Oh how you look at them, four men beating up two women. No, just don't beat up people. <laughs> you know, exactly. Just don't beat up people. It doesn't matter. It's not about who's stronger. Like even if if you think if this was a fair fight. It would make it less morally, uh, hard, you know, we wouldn't be calling it out. Like, you think if this was four men beating up enough, uh, four other men because they were gay, we, it would be less horrific? No, it's just don't don't physically attack people. Jesus. Uh, es Esther, I don't know, is saying, I'm so sorry for what they have done to you. Uh, wars fail me. What have we become uh, when children do this? Uh, okay, I'm going to criticize this soon. Let me just finish the whole thing. I hope you both heal together and become stronger together. You are in our thoughts. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping these two women are getting a lot of love and support by pe by people, um, you know, because they deserve it. They deserve a lot of support right now. But to the first part of this comment saying, I'm so sorry, um, saying, words, what, what have we become when children do this? Well, how old were these? You said 15 to 18, right? Yeah, and the women were in their 20s. Okay, th guys, things are bad, but things are better. Just always remember this. Things are bad, but things are better. 15 and 18-year-old men used to go out and attack villages and rape women, okay? This was part of the norm, okay? What have we become? Well, we have this this is this is really really bad, okay? But even in 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 w where this was in London, right? London, if you go back 50 years, it was worse. It was worse, right? United States, go back 50 years. Everything was worse for gay people. Can, is that fair to say, Ali? 50 years ago, United States was worse for gay people than it is now? Is yeah. that a fair thing to say? So, you don't... When you're fighting, you know, this kind of nonsense, when you're fighting bigotry, when you're fighting hate, you don't have to pretend that everything is getting worse and just because things are getting better that doesn't mean that we shouldn't still be fighting but if you make wrong claims when I mean, you make claims that could be easily be shown that is false that things are actually better than ever before and you acting like things are getting worse when you say that that actually hurts us because then people are like no you're wrong then they they will just disc discredit everything else that you're saying things are better than they have ever been but that doesn't mean that we should stop fighting um somebody saying hi i'm watching from malaysia hi malaysia so i'm saying i am trans equal rights for trans people began since 2014 in india in 2019 i still haven't come out to my family just to some of my friends lgbtq people need protection yeah again the it's good that the laws are improving in some places not everywhere but again the law doesn't mean that the police is going to be, you know, right there every moment. You know, the law is not going to come and t uh, protect you from the hate from your family. The law doesn't mean that every time someone's attacked you, the, the police is just going to magically appear and just going to be instantly protect you from somebody trying to beat you up, right? So the laws changing is the is a good is pro is progress, but we still need to fight. You know, we still need to change people's opinions, and we have been doing that, and we have made a lot of progress. But it's still dangerous. Is the world is still a dangerous place for gay people? The world is still a dangerous place for trans people, and we should still be fighting. Just because we have made a lot of progress, that doesn't mean we should stop fighting. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. 
we have built a global community and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.